It's really easy to argue that music existed before language, until you realize that music is in and of itself a method of communication. Just like birds singing or crickets chirping, there's a musical quality to primal communication. It may be some pleasing sounds to attract a mate, or a sharp warning call, or even a loud scream to call for help, but it's all primal, and I think that's what music is at its core. It seems like preservation and development of a skill that we had long before we were able to speak in a formal language. One particular skill we have as humans is much more obvious than children. It's the ability to impose our emotional states on others. Children, when angry, will do or say something to make a parent angry. We call this acting out, but there's a clear empathic communication skill involved with it. We adults even do it sometimes in a situation that's emotionally charged. It's almost as though it's a defense mechanism where we impulsively feel, in quotes, if you're going to make me suffer, you're going to suffer with me. Emotional tit for tat. The word telepathy means feeling at a distance. This is what music has to offer us all. Many say that the value of live music is to bring people together, and I totally buy that. Everyone at a music venue is sharing in a similar emotional experience led by the musician or musical group. A person sitting alone at a computer with music playing on their headphones is sharing the emotion that a musician or musical group was feeling when they recorded the song. So it's not just feeling from distance in space, but also distance through time. We can also share that experience with musicians who died long ago. Like many of the other things that we do, music may also be a way for us to live on through what we pass down, like the knowledge and experience we pass down with language. So similarly, it's a way to leave a mark on the world that says that we were here, a way to intimately share our depths through space and time.